welcome to my channel. It's your dear Annie here in the Philippines. And for today's topic, we will know the qualities that Filipina women generally avoid in potential partner. While everyone has their own unique and preferences and deal breakers, I know there are some common traits that many Filipino women tend to steer clear of. But before we get into it, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon and visit my Patreon channel for more. Hi mom, okay. how are you? We're doing fine. <laughs> <laughs> is it okay? <laughs> um, hi guys, my name is Cheska. Hi guys, my name is Sheila. My name is Jana. Hi guys, I'm Vinisa Jen Bitares. I'm from Cebu. Well, welcome here in Davao City. I have a question for you. What types of men do you usually avoid or you don't like? Um, siguro self-centered men and uh, like they're not politically aware about the happenings in the Philippines I see. and especially those who like um, who uh, example their family is supporting these kind of politicians and they think that they, su they should support that type of politicians too because their family is supporting them bro I don't think that example if your if your family is supporting that type of people you should be one to follow too cuz um uh, i think i've seen it in a, in my point of view said now there's a lot of people in Cebu that actually do that too cuz they don't have uh, they they they're not uh, freedom they don't have freedom okay, i don't want a man with aggressive um, approaches like for stuffs like that mm -hmm. i don't like men like that so like and I, I also don't like men who thinks they're the provider so they like the alpha men or like so very superior mm -hmm. men, so. especially those kind of men who think now um men are superior than women mm -hmm. because uh, i don't like kanang i don't like that type of situation because Siguro in our family, I've seen it a lot of times now. Women can be also providers for the family, yes. mm -hmm. and I don't like that women are. Siguro in in the future, if I if I could have a husband, I don't want to be a, like stay home wife. I don't want to be a housewife that much because I can provide for myself, no man. So hindi wasan kyo mga lalaki na ganon as I. I can assess myself as very independent kasi ako nagre-relay sa mga sa guys initially so you're yeah. in short you're a strong independent woman parang ganun <laughs> should I take it as that you're a <laughs> feminist hindi <laughs> man oh parang ganun siguro uh -huh. I, I prefer see. like I prefer partnership rather than like depending on each other or what. So, mm -hmm. parang ganun. Are you single or taken? Taken. Oh, <laughs> she's taken, uh, yeah. guys. Sorry. <laughs> Respect is the basic needs in a relationship kasi aside from commitment. So, mm -hmm. I prefer na um, aside sa ginacentralize niyo si God and the commitment within your relationship, kailangan din yung respect. As long as you can, kanang i-provide niyo talaga yan between the two of you. Kasi, if ever you don't respect, especially the in women's boundary, yes. mm -hmm. uh, especially in a relationship, eh kahit naman na sa ibang tao na hindi mo partner, kailangan talaga meron yung respect. Basic yes, needs na yan ng basic. tao, hindi mm -hmm. yan parang want lang. Yes. See, that's that's how you build trust. Sense, right? okay, oh. mm -hmm. Hello everyone, my name is Trixie Nguyen Barato. And this is... I'm Nasan Ahmed. Hello girls, Hello. you look so pretty. Hello. I avoid cheaters and manipulative. <laughs> manipulative? Why yeah. do you say that? Because, like, I've been in a relationship where it's very toxic mm -hmm. and it was taken advantage. Yeah. How about you, Um, Yeah, liar and manipulative. Um, nag boyfriend rin ako last. So, yun. Um, palagi ako nagabigay ng, ng chance. So, ayun, paulit ulit na yun. Sinungaling talaga siya. And then, yun, manipulative. Tend to avoid those. Um, potential partners who are possessive. Possessive? Yeah. 
why do you say possessive? Because you have to, you know, you have to have boundaries, you have to go out, you have, he has to respect your personal space. So yeah, it's a red flag for me. Okay. Single or no, taken? No, I'm, I'm in a six-year relationship. Oh, you're taken already? Yes. Like, dishonest. Dishonest? Yes. Because if the guy is honest with you, diba, um, we are, we as a woman, we have to, um, we find a guy that um, they respect us. Um, oh my God. <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> you can so for me siguro ano I don't like men who makes everything sexual like the topic it's all about ano yeah. <laughs> like sexual um for me I avoid those guys those who have ano wala po silang emotional intelligence like hindi li kasabot sa ingani na bagay or sa simplest thing and they would only resort sa um yung uh, emotional response nila kung ano lang po bigla na isip nila <laughs> I see so you prefer like mature guys ah uh, yeah opo <laughs> ganun <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, not gentleman and not um, God fearing. Hi guys, here with me, my sister. I know we look the same, but she's my younger sister. Can you introduce yourself for us? Hi guys, uh, I'm Annie's sister, and I am Shirley. I'm 25 years old. So, how are you, Shirley? What kind of man do you usually avoid? A man who doesn't respect you and treat you good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this respectful man is a big no-no for me, especially for us, Filipino culture. And number one, respect is a cornerstone for us. And with this kind of men who are rude towards me and to my family. Yes. Yes. Um, yes, those respectful men, like for example, flashing about what he has, like, you know, like giving you all what, she, what he can do, but then just only for talking. And yes, just like those kind of men keep talking about herself, I mean himself, and make you feel you cannot, like, you cannot talk about yourself only on him for me as a filipino woman i often look for partners who are uh, dependable and respect uh, responsible this means having ambition financial stability and a track record of responsible responsible behavior well surely that's true well for me also, those kind of men who is non-family oriented, those kind of men also less desirable for me, actually. We know that family in, in Filipino culture is, is extremely important, right? And those men whose lack of interest in family activities and responsibilities is not a good partner for me. So I want those kind of men who appreciate and prioritize family first. How about you? Uh, for me, uh, our another major deal breaker is loyalty and faithfulness. Faithfulness are highly valued. Men with a history of uh, infidelity or who don't show uh, commitment are generally uh, avoided. Yeah. I see. What else? And especially trust is the foundation yes, of that's true. a healthy relationship and it's crucial to maintain it. Thank you so much, Shirley, for joining me in this video. And guys, thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And yes, see you again for my next video. This is your dear Annie here in the Philippines. Hi, guys. I'm Shirley. See you on next interview. Bye. Bye.